Hebrews Senators for those wonderful questions is a reflection of the commitment of everyone in this Senate to see an improved healthcare system in Nigeria. Indeed, Nigeria should be headed at the speed of light to achieve universal health coverage. That means health care for all, irrespective of whether they have the money, they are from any tribe, or they belong to any religion. They should, wherever they are, be able to have access to quality health care. For us as a country, we have challenges that stare us in the face, beginning with governance and leadership of the health sector, fragmentation, duplication, wastage of funds, poor coordination amongst key players in the health sector. Nigeria suffers right now from what they call the Jaffa syndrome where doctors and other health workers are leaving the country in their drones. The World Health Organization recommendation is that we should have one doctor to 600 patients. But in Nigeria, it's basically one doctor to 5,900 patients, let's say 6,000, which is completely unacceptable and cannot give us a reliable health system. We just went through a pandemic, which probably should have been a great window of opportunity to fix our health sector, but it was not fully utilized. Like you said, 60% of Nigerians, of course, pay out of pocket, and they look forward to a better, more functional health system. What should we be advising and working with our very, very strong politically conscious president to see that we achieve in the health sector. Number one, I think the beginning of the problem is governance. We must get the right governance and the right structure from the top all the way down to the health facilities. Who are those manning it? Who are the managers? Who are the planners? Is it properly planned? And what are those adjustments and streamlining that needs to happen? Like a distinguished senator rightly said, there are federal medical centers everywhere. There are teaching hospitals everywhere. How functional are they? What quality of service can they offer? As it concerns the health workers that are leaving, a couple of things can be done. Number one, we can change the payment structure for health workers to see that they get better incentives and they can stay on. They are leaving because probably country like Saudi Arabia promises a greener pasture, and that's why they're leaving. Number two, we can make the environment more conducive for them to stay so that they can thrive and deliver their health services. Number three, it's important for us to create another structure where health workers can be employed outside the direct structure that we have now. In the United States, sorry, in the United Kingdom, I'll give you an example. You have the doctors who are on local and they still work in the NHS. And you have the doctors who are employed by the NHS directly. So some are employed through agencies and then some directly. This way you can sip in every single health worker from wherever they are. We need every one of them. I also want to suggest that as a matter of urgency, our medical institutions across the nation should be improved to train more health practitioners that will go into the system. Beyond this, it's important for Nigeria as a country to concentrate on our health insurance. I'm very happy this legislative house that you were able to pass the bill to make health insurance mandatory for all Nigerians. Everyone should contribute the little and we all share the risk and we share the benefits. That way, we can offer free health care to pregnant women and children under five. That will reduce maternal mortality and reduce under five mortality. That way, we can reduce catastrophic expenditure that have sent several families into poverty. 
I would want to go to the question of the women. Nigerian women need empowerment at all levels, beginning from the grassroots all the way up. I'm very proud of Mr. President that he was able to appoint into his cabinet a good number of women, which is the first start. We want to use this opportunity to plead with the legislative arm that bills that will support and protect the Nigerian women should scale through in the 10th assembly. That way it provides a legal framework for women to increase our participation in politics, governance, and leadership. I'll speak briefly on the poor health services and I'll round up at that point. Primary health care is the foundation of any health system in any country. And that's the closest health system to Nigerians, where they live, where they work. And except we fix the primary health care, we cannot achieve universal health coverage. The government, working with the legislative arm, have provided the basic health care provision fund. We want that, private sector participation, and indeed, all our development partners to come on board to see that Nigerian primary health care is completely functional, and that will go into the secondary, the teaching hospitals, and specialist hospitals to offer care. Thank you very much. Senate President and distinguished members.